When we are talking about the competitive advantage, I think it is very important to look at the sources. So to ask ourselves the question, where does this competitive advantage actually come from? And the theories are going to bring us a three different views on, on what's the reasoning behind. And there is one point or one, one base where these theories differ and it is the view uh, from, from which part or from which environment it comes, whether it can be the external or internal one. So we can view the sources in external environment, external environment, or we can view them inside us, so we can see some internal resources internal resources. So let's begin with, with the very first view and it is going to be the industrial organization view. Industrial. Industrial organization view. And and as you as you already see from the name, the the this we or this theory uh, came from industries maybe with some heavy metals or some machineries. So this theory is going to apply uh, especially in stable industries. Stable industries. And this theory is basically telling us uh, that our competitive advantage or our ideas and our strategies are based on the environment. So what is around us should should form what we plan to do. And the uh, internal context uh, just gives us some brief and it should be it should be adaptable. So we can say adaptable internal context. Context. And this was this was very brief explanation, but you will really see the differences when, when we move forward for the uh, next views. So I would introduce you the next one and it is going to be the resource based view. Resource based view. And the resource based view you can uh, say it is something as total opposite to the first one because it tells us uh, that uh, the firm is a set of resources. So uh, you can say the competitive advantage is your uh, technological idea that you have or it can be the organizational structure that you have or it can be the suppliers with which you have uh, great agreements. So it views a company as a set of resources. Set of resources resources. And then what, what role does the external environment has due to this point of view? Well, the external environment is just influencing our strategy. So this is in comparison to the first view, very different, uh, where, where it was viewed that uh, this uh, competitive advantage is outside of our company, whereas in the second view it is inside us and the external environment just influences our strategy choices. And what is also very important to mention that uh, these resources which we have inside of the company, those uh, or, or we have many resources. Every company has, has uh, many parts but as a competitive advantage should be viewed just those that are uh, difficult to create, difficult to buy or imitate. So not everything, just the the special ones are are the competitive advantage. So special resources are competitive advantage. Are competitive advantage. And now let's move to the third and final view, which is from, from my point of view very interesting and it is very complex and it is going to be the evolutionary view. Evolutionary view. Evolutionary view. And this maybe maybe you would expect uh, some some compromise between these two wheels, but this is going to be something totally different because in it, in its extreme, this wheel tells us uh, that a company or a firm 
cannot really change themselves and they should follow the evolution. So it tells that the company should follow should follow evolution. And the reason why it is so, it weaves this, this uh, evolution as the strongest process that is going on around us and that we should adjust to it. So it says that the company uh, should predict or or look for some patterns of change. So we predict, I'm a company and uh, I predict that there are going to be much more immigrants in my city or much more newborn babies. So I try to expand my uh, production possibilities. On the other hand, if I predict uh, that the market is going down, I, I, I would should uh, lower my production also because this evolution is inevitable and uh, I cannot really influence it. So my company should basically adjust for the evolutionary processes. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of intuition.